what's up everybody? Hey, check it out! A generic video blog! You know those things I normally don't do a lot of? Well, that's the reason why I'm resorting to the classic video blog thing here, where I'm trying not to look at the viewfinder a little ways away from the camera. Twitch, twitch, twitch. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the reason why I'm resorting to this uh, format that I supposedly am not a big fan of using is because I want to talk about some health type things today. I'm just uh, getting a quick vlog in for heading off to work, but one thing that has gone right this year amidst all the mess is that my insistence on looking for the hardest jobs I could find if no tech jobs are available has resulted in me losing 45 pounds since the peak at the end of last year. Yeah! See, this is, this is especially interesting because... I actually, I wanna, this lady I went to school with years and years ago that we keep in touch with on social media sites and stuff, she got sick of being overweight too, and she went and messed around with a lap band. Now, here's the fun part, you know, I've got folks in my family that have messed around with lap bands and obesity surgery and stuff like that, and yeah, they've lost a ton of weight, but um, I've known a few people who've had things like uh, gastric bypass and stuff like that, and there's, there's, there's potential health side effects too. Like with gastric bypass, because you get a shorter intestine, it could lead to you uh, having a little bit of <clears throat> gas <laughs> quite a bit everywhere you go. <laughs> so, but the big reason why I've never really been interested in any kind of obesity surgery is more of a psychological thing. I mean, I can think of no better way to send a message that, I hey, look, I have no discipline, white flag, than to go out and have something like that done. Plus, you know, I, I don't know if you've noticed this, but you ever notice how surgery nowadays is no longer a bad word? Ugh, allergies. Ugh, got some dust in my eye. You know how, uh, you know how surgery is, it used to be a bad word, but now it's not? You know, between plastic surgery and obesity surgery and stuff like that, we, you know, pop culture these days thinks of surgery like you're going to the corner store for a loaf of bread. Where, what happened here? Surgery can have complications. It can change your health. It can ruin your life under the absolute worst circumstances if everything goes way wrong. It can even kill someone. But, you know, I guess with all these, like, celebrity shows and stuff like that, the, uh, it's... Yeah, it used to be that, oh, look, something bad happened to you. You're gonna require surgery. That used to be like, <gasps> But now, I guess, uh... People, oh yeah, I'll just go down and have a lap band put in. Here's the funny part, speaking of lap bands. This friend of mine from school, she had the lap, she, she's going through all the lap band stuff. Her results are about the same. So with zero surgery, I've done about as well as someone who actually went under the knife so far. A little behind, you know, she's lost 50 pounds and stuff like that. I've only lost 45. I imagine I've probably been shooting myself in the foot because one of the things about this warehouse job, because I am doing so much physical activity, it's fun, once again, being able to eat junk food and not have to worry about gaining any weight because you don't, because you run around so darn much. You know, it's been a heck of a lot of fun. But uh, I think that might have slowed down some of the loss that I've had. Plus, I've done zero diet or exercise. Unless you count, well, the job technically is exercise, so zero diet. So maybe if I laid off some more of the junk food, once I, you know, get sick of it, you know, we'll start seeing the numbers drop a little more. Plus, when you're building up muscle for the first time, muscle, I guess, weighs more than fat. So, you know, as you bulk up from suddenly doing a lot more physical activity than you used to, then... Uh, Stuff like that. Anyways, the reason why I'm making this video is not to sit in front of the camera yip-yapping like this, like an old school video blog. There is a reason that I wanted to get in front of a camera. Ladies and gentlemen, my ratty old college jacket from my days as a dirt poor college kid living on a shoestring budget. I haven't worn this thing in many, many, many years. Let's try it on. Howdy folks. It fits. A little snug, but if I lose another 10 pounds or so, this should start fitting a heck of a lot better. I always wear my jackets a little loose, so I'm going to want to lose a little more before I start walking around in this thing again. But we're talking here about a jacket that I haven't worn in almost a decade. And that's kind of gross, actually. I should run this thing through the wash before wearing it again, but yeah! Going even further back into my college years, Here's my old ThinkPad shirt from when I was involved with a uh, tech conference on campus all those years ago. See? ThinkPad. 
And of course over here we have an Intel Centrino logo. Totally, this is this actually was, I love this shirt back in college. This was the shirt, yep, there was a, uh, one more logo. Ta uh, can we get it on camera? <laughs> you can already tell it's a Targus logo, but, oh man, so hard. Targus. This shirt right here is the reason why I like collared polo shirts these days. I, I was like, hey, I love this thing. I like how it feels. I like having a collar. It looks a little more professional than some clown you know, lounging around in t-shirts everywhere. This was my original collared polo shirt that uh, began my interest, well, that started me off in liking collared polo shirts. Let's try this one on. I expect this to be a little snug, but another 10, 20 pounds or so, I'll be able to put this back in the wardrobe. Because I've been noticing that some of my work shirts have really been hanging off of me lately. Now this is what I call a blast from the past. Yes! I haven't had a Centrino logo around my arm in an extremely long time. The shirt's a little snug. Another 20 pounds or so, I'll be able to wear this again. And my existing shirts will really hang off me. But I don't mind loose clothes. Especially in these warehouse environments. You know, I don't want to be constrained by whatever it is that I'm wearing. You know, I like to be able to zip around and uh, not have clothes get in the way or anything like that. It's a little, this, shirt, this shirt's a little snug, but at the rate I've been going, especially if I start eating less because I don't have any money, like living off of like dollar store soup or something like that, yeah. Now, I'm going to finish the vlog with this shirt because it's, it's so much fun to be wearing this shirt for the first time in over five years, I think. But I just want to say, yeah, I mean, I'm sure I still look like a fat guy. I mean, I still got the double chin thing going on here. <clears throat> Go away! Blasted gravity. No, but just kidding. <laughs> I realize I still have the double chin thing going on here. But I'm sure that even if you've been with this channel since my humble roots back in 2006 on here, you're not going to, you're going to be like, Jay, you're still fat. Get over it. And you'd be right. Sadly, I, uh, sadly, being from a family where guys are often born under the sign of the Michelin Man, I uh, unfortunately need to lose triple digits. Or, what are you doing quotes for? It's, it's not a quote, it's real. I have to lose triple digits in order for it to be noticeable. But for the time being, it's great being able to stoop and pick stuff up in the warehouse and uh, you know, have some gut, have some actual muscle. I was like flipping someone off. No, no, no. I'm like, yeah, rock solid, baby. You know, it's it's fun to. Uh, I'm sorry. I looked, that totally looked like I just flipped you off the old fashioned way. Epic fear. But it's great to have some actual muscle. And <clears throat> that's one of the things too when you're talking about weight loss and stuff like that. You can't talk about weight loss in a vacuum. It can't be. You can't lose weight just for the sake of losing weight. Now, it's always more fun to lose weight and gain some other physical benefits, too, like better blood pressure, actually being able to lift stuff. It used to be that, you know, if I did too much crouching down, I'd blow out a knee or something. That stopped happening. There are times now where I'm like, how come I haven't had any knee pain yet? Oh, yeah, that's right, 45 pounds, gone. But, yeah, <laughs> this is why I wanted to do the generic video blog, so I could just sit here all... You know, like, oh yeah, look at me, I've lost a bunch of weight. I'm wearing a shirt that I haven't worn since college. <laughs> I gotta lose a bit more for this to be about as comfortable as I'd like it to be. But it's a step in the right direction. Actually, a couple steps in the right direction. So, and this is the funny part, because, you know, we're talking about this, this lady I went to school with. She's lost about the same amount of weight. She's lost it through surgery, so she's probably, yeah, she probably looks about as good as, you know, someone who's lost that much weight would look. And she's still, like me, she still has quite a ways to go, but I have energy. I, do, I don't think, the last time I drank anything with caffeine in it was... Yeah, I mean, I'm, usually I'm just too busy with what I'm doing at this warehouse job to even drink any coffee or tea. So I just, you know, do what I do with no caffeine. So, fun stuff, fun stuff, fun stuff. Anyways, back to what I said before. Of course, those of you, even if you've been with this channel from the beginning, you, um you're not going to notice too much because I've always been at least this fat on camera. I'm back to where I was when I first started YouTubing all those years ago. I need to do this again in order for the weight loss to be noticeable. And uh, I'm getting to the point now where I really think I'm going to want to start try eating less because there's a lot of times when I go to you know eat something and I'm not actually physically hungry. So I don't know, maybe it's something that runs in the family. Maybe we can 
save a lot of money by not eating very much. But I understand you're not supposed to starve yourself, so maybe like a little soup bowl or something like that if I don't really feel like having anything more. But the key thing is, you know, I remember the days when I first started playing my fitness coach on the Wii, and I remember one of the tips in the game was, if it's not the greatest thing in the world, why do you want to waste those calories? Don't eat it. So, I've been thinking about that. You know, things like snack foods and and uh, token meals where you eat because it's time to eat and not because you're actually hungry, stupid stuff like that. You know, that really makes one think about empty calories and stuff. Although, one sure sign of the progress I've made, you know, I'm thinking of being, you know, I, I was talking about maybe I wouldn't be with my family this Thanksgiving. I think that's kind of going away now. I think I'm going to go spend, as long as they don't doctor fill me about my situation, I will not mind at all spending the day with my folks. And I'm going to bring the Wii over because my dad's a huge Wii bowling addict. <laughs> one, thing that, um, one thing that I've shocked them with is they're like, you know, all right, so we're going to have snacks and stuff. What kind of snacks do you want? Cheez-Its, crackers, cookies, a cheese ball with dip and crackers and stuff like that and I'm like I don't snack and my dad sent an email back what dude I better make sure you're not adopted everybody in the family has been hooked on snacking but it appears like I've kind of broken an old bad habit in this family by uh, not being all that interested in snacking I think what happened was in my more carefree years a couple of years ago I went and did the cheese it thing the cookies thing the candy thing and I just lost my taste in that stuff you know, from having too much of it. I suppose that's a good thing. Maybe I'll focus on healthier stuff. Anyways, it's been fun wearing this shirt again, but uh, I'm gonna... I, it's kind of gross that I'm wearing a shirt that I haven't washed. It's been sitting in my closet for over five years, so I'm gonna take this stupid thing off and just hang it up somewhere. When I lose about 20 more pounds, I'm gonna run this through the wash and start wearing it again. It'd be funny if the... <laughs> See, the thing is, I haven't, I haven't been talking to these warehouse people I haven't been talking to the folks at this warehouse job about my tech background because I don't want them to egg on me any more than they already they already do. I don't want any more of the, Hey, you went to college. Where did it get you? Oh, you're a computer guy. Where did it get you? Oh, you love electronics and technology. Where did it get you? <laughs> I don't want any more of that than what I'm already dealing with because I don't walk around like, Duh, Okay, what's next? And when's break? So... <laughs> I don't want to get made fun of any more than I've already gotten made fun of at this place, so I've kind of been keeping that part of what I do hush-hush. They don't have to know anyways. I'm not there to fix computers. I'm there to do generic warehouse work overnight on a shift most people don't like and don't stick with, so... All right. It's good. Nice progress here. This shirt, by the way, is one shirt size below what I've been wearing for the past five years. So the fact that I can start wearing smaller shirts again... I would say this is like a Jenny Craig moment for me, but I don't want to go too overboard with this. And because I know there's going to be some naysayers that are going to be like, Jay, you were sitting in the chair holding your stomach, weren't you? Here I am just casually standing around with this shirt on. Turn around, etc. See, I actually can wear this thing. 20 more pounds or so, and this thing will be loose enough for me to wear like I currently do the other types of shirts. Centrino! It's from back when Centrino first came out. I'm going to keep this shirt around, and 20 more pounds from now, whenever that happens, or maybe I'll try again at 10, but I should, uh, 20, 10 or 20 pounds later after all this, I should wash this thing and add it to my rotation for work shirts. Till next time, this is Multimedia J, signing off. Thanks for stopping by.